No. Please stop pumping me. Thank you. Boy. Wow, look at that car. What a nice whip. Leave its cussy alone. I don't know why it does that sound, but thank you, Harry, for the gifted sub to Jeff Goldblum. A well-earned gifted sub. That might be like some, cause sometimes when you do sponsors, they give you like custom sounds and shit you have to use. And that might just be like some leftover gifted sub sound that I have from some sponsor that I forgot about that's just sitting there on the scene. I don't know. Did someone tell a joke? A joke in my chat room? During serious RTAs, you know what to do with them. RTA is real-time attack. Essentially what it means is it's just a speed run of an individual level. And it sounds cooler than saying wet dry world runs. I hope that this helped. Suffocate his coochie. <laughs> mm. Plastic bag over his coochie now. Stuff pepperoni in his cheesy bread now. Foo. Ales. Okay. It's gonna be tight, because the 100 wasn't that good. The first star wasn't that good. I might be tying my best. Are you serious, dude? No. Nope. Wow. That's actually crazy. I think that w I think that would have been it. That might have actually ended up being it. What what was the final time? 1420? Yeah. If that was a 1370, that literally would have been it. Fuck. Yeah, that's pretty good though. I mean, it's getting better. I'm feeling it. I wasn't feeling it at first, I'll be honest. It's always hard to get back into it if you haven't played for a while. But I was feeling that one. It's actually pretty good. Considering that I lost like a whole second on the first star and there was stupid shit that happened on the 100 as well. Would have doesn't cut it. You're right. That's why I'm going again. Let me just gargle some water. Yeah, 1360. It would have been a 450.7. I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick as well. I come back and he's good. What does that mean? Say it, man. I come back and he's gay. And it's good to be back. Although, like I said, until I'm five days in a row, I don't want to say I'm back. That's my criteria for being back. I don't know what 506 is from, but if you're looking at best split time, it's going to be different than best RTA because the split starts from touching the door to go upstairs and RTA starts from the star select. Oh, trust me. I saw the Bach video. It's incredible. Why do you just start fucking? Are you not able to fucking keep it in your pants? God, it's in my head, dude. That's such a crazy video. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. Oh. I am not making splits for this. Just know that my best, I got, I already got a 451.45 today and my best is a 451.05. I'm literally so close. That is just bullshit. No. All right, time to lock in once again. I'm getting this 450, man. No. I don't really know what's going on with the tunnel thing. I honestly have no clue, but I guess my first thought is how is that kind of thing even like possible? I don't understand how it's possible. Like, how does that go on without anyone knowing? I mean, I understand you dig a tunnel. That's not the part I'm confused about. I get, <laughs> but how, how do you dig it under like a fucking incredibly busy populated city with no one knowing? It's actually impressive. Who's gonna look? Well, you think someone would have just like noticed. But I mean, it's also, I just don't understand. Like I haven't really looked into it. I don't really know what the fuck is even happening, but it's just kind of crazy. You think that kind of thing would just be like, you'd hear it or something, I don't know. I did see the tweet about a guy talking about hearing Yiddish below his apartment. <laughs> that's so, that's good. That dude's gotta feel like so validated now. Like imagine being like, dude, I swear to God, I've been hearing people under our apartment, but like, there's no basement. Like, I'm telling you, there's people here. And everyone's like, yeah, sure, man, whatever. And then this shit comes out, you're just like, I fucking told you. I told you they were in the... They were underneath. <laughs> I'm hearing asparagus in my walls. The asbestos is screaming to me, slime. The star is so awkward. Hold on. That would have been so fast if I didn't... Let's grab. Hell. You can't trust me. I don't even trust myself. <laughs> Go to secret aquarium. I honestly probably have time to be saved there as well. But how? So did they use a shovel or was it like silverware? 
Does anyone know? Well, there's a point when- I learned this in Minecraft. There's a point when you're digging where, like, you need tools. I just feel like it'd be so hard to get through with, a, with just a shovel. No! That was going decent. Probably started, like, the E-Rob hole stream. But that, dude, that's exactly why I'm like, how is that even possible? Because it took, like, ten motherfuckers. And, I mean, I guess it's, it's different depending on where you start. Like, if you're hitting rocks and shit, you're probably fucked. But, like, bro, it took ten plus grown-ass humans with tools to get a six-foot hole. That was, like, barely wide enough to fit a person. Like, how do you build a whole-ass tunnel? It's just nuts. You dug it in the worst dirt conditions? I didn't dig shit, bro. I was there to watch. This fucking clown. This fucking bug. I'm not here saying I could do it. Stop putting words in my mouth. I mean, yeah, I guess streamers aren't a great metric because streaming, you know, it's not about doing it as optimal as possible. It's about the content. That's too slow. I'll take a 41 anything, but 42 is just making it harder than it needs to be. Have you ever tried a no-hit run? Oh, man. Do I have a... Uh... A video for you. I have the world record for one. <laughs> it sounds so stupid. I have done a no hit run. Yes. Damageless 120 star. It has been done. Ground pounds of the hole like Mario. Leaves to take a shit. Stands around and ventilates his coochie for eight hours. <laughs> Dude, just how am I supposed to let my coochie breathe when I'm starting to become self conscious of how it ventilates based on this obsession of coochie breath? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Ain't no way. Or dressing up as Dracula isn't even that weird. People do it every year. No. I think letting myself do this without any kind of time limit was not the best idea. So I got like too hyper fixated on it and then it got tiring. There's a new set of Trackmania maps too. The winter season came out. Trackmania is actually such a good game. It's so fun. I can see myself becoming more of a Trackmania streamer down the line for sure. That game is actually a good ass time you gotta be a streamer first or you're not wrong khakis were always a pair of pants that i was like i don't even know what i'm going with this <laughs> khakis are like the most approachable pair of pants for me personally like i'm not i've never really been a huge jean guy i was always wearing sweatpants and shit but i really like how khakis look but i actually don't have a pair myself currently so maybe after the khaki map we'll go find khakis that i can wear <laughs> i've never been a pants guy <laughs> I've never been a shirt guy. That that much is true. I looked at my laundry. Like, I did my laundry recently, and it was, like, uh, let's say six pairs of boxers. Like, two pairs of shorts and, like, one shirt. And, like, a towel and socks. I have not been wearing a shirt. If I don't go live, I don't usually wear a shirt. Unless it's cold. It's actually been cold as fuck. I think another, another winter freeze-over is happening in Texas, supposedly. Time for all of the power to go out and every single fucking store to shut down and the entire state goes into a state of panic because there are just no snow plows or anything pre johns for another vacation no i'm i'm just informing you guys of the happenings of the world over here in austin texas thank you punky for a paragraph about your shitted experience definitely gonna read that it's supposed to be like 17 degrees later this week or something speaking celsius no it's gonna be really cold in Celsius. Punky, all of your shitting problems would be alleviated if you just had a bidet. Just get one, man. They're like 20 bucks. No, it's actually, since I've been back from Minnesota, I'm not even kidding, it's been colder here than it was while I was in Minnesota, somehow. Like Minnesota, it was only getting down to like, I don't know, 30s, 40s, 50s. It's getting below freezing here. I mean, there was obviously colder days in Minnesota, but like, the majority of the time that I was there, like a thousand miles north, kind of crazy. All right, let me read about this shit. Dude, I've had plenty of shits where I'm wet wiping it and I still have to wipe. Maybe the strap for those poop is to just give up after a few wipes because there's no hope. I don't know if you think wet wipes are equivalent to a bidet, but I'm telling you, it's like not even close. Like a wet wipe doesn't fix much. It really doesn't. They're... It's like, it can't even be compared at all. It's basic shitonomics, man. Bidet blasts away all your problems. To be honest, I don't even bother wiping anymore. I just shit in the shower. Waffle stomp, gang. It is a little weird the first time. 
not gonna lie. It is always a little weird, but then they really need to make pocket bidets. Is that a thing? That's a million dollar idea. Just like a little easy clip on, you just fill it up with water and it just snaps onto your cheeks and, cause wet wipes sometimes just aren't enough, man. I don't know if I, if I told you guys, I had a grown ass moment recently. You know, sometimes you gotta give, you gotta get tire pressure, right? You gotta pump your tires. And I mean, I'm sure I've had other grown, per grown ass purchases, but like this is my recent one that I'm really excited about. Cause I've had problems where sometimes I'm trying to pump my tires. <laughs> And, and so I got, I got a portable air compressor that is powered via the, uh, the 12 volt slot in the car. And dude, it is so sick. It like, it gets locked in, you set it to what pressure you want and you just turn it on and it just does it. It's so sick. I'm so happy about it. It used to always be like a thing like, oh man, like my tire pressure's low, but then anytime I get in the car, I'm going somewhere and I want to be there on time. So like, I don't have time to pump, but now it's like, oh, I just pull out the air compressor and then boom. It's so fucking nice. It was like 20 bucks. Very pleased with my purchase. So now I'd like to extend the, uh, like what is, what is like a grown ass purchase that you guys have made that you're really fired up about? House, a real nice washer, okay. Hey, a nice washer goes crazy. A, a washer upgrade from something that you had to like rinse everything to being able to just put anything in there is a godsend. I bought a car. Hey, grats. Clap lights? Really? I didn't know people actually bought clap lights. I thought that was just a meme. Not getting up out of bed to turn out the lights, you feel like a god? Well, I have, I don't have clap lights, but I have a smart light. So if I wanna, I could turn the light on with my phone, but usually I just turn it off with the switch. I, I love having a smart light. They're pretty expensive though. It's like $40 a bulb or something like that. They're pretty fucking nice. I have a buddy back in Minnesota who has in, he has like a smart house. Like he has like Alexa and every house, every light in the house is hooked up so that you could just be like, Alexa, turn on the kitchen light and make it red, and it just does it. And it's pretty fucking convenient, I'm not gonna lie. So what happens when you clap some meat in the room with the clap lights? That's also what I was wondering, but I didn't want to bring it up because, I don't know, it just seems inappropriate. You activated my Alexa jackass? Oh, my bad.